What's good, people? That weekend flew by, didn't it? Wow. Oh well, can't cry about it. But listen, man, let's talk about this. Um, the name on everybody's lips right now for the new Batman, seeing as how Batfleck retired, rest in peace, buddy, um, is Robert Pattinson. Yeah, that one. The glittery vampire. Now, would it be a bad choice? No. He has the chops for it. He's done a lot of work. I haven't watched most of it. The guy's a good actor. But to me personally, in my head, I will always see him as the glittery vampire or the cool kid that died in Harry Potter that never got to close a deal with the cute Asian chick at Hogwarts. Just me. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'll be a cool choice simply because he's, you know, he's, he is what he is. Um, the rest of them, there's a lot, there's, you know, there's always lists coming out. There were lists that just got published four hours ago. Short list, long list, grocery list. It doesn't matter. I mean, Matt Reeves is going to pick who, who he wants and maybe it's going to be glittery vampire guy. Who knows? But I just want to make a joke of it real quick. Uh, next topic. We, uh, we had the Aladdin trailer, uh, drop last night, which was, you know, really cool everybody's focusing on the whole <laughs> the blue genie will smith thing you asked for it you wanted to see the blue genie now you got it does it look bad no no it actually piqued my interest a little bit more to want to see this movie now i'm not focused on that what i saw in the trailer were uh i saw the, the intro uh with the dancing elephants and all the pretty colors that we everybody knows and loves from the movie and i saw the still of uh, Jasmine and uh, her tiger when she was walking down the stairs. I thought that was pretty cool. Now Will Smith being a blue genie, that was cool too. And <laughs> I was kind of shocked. So, you know, we wanted it, we got it. I'm looking forward to the movie. I think my wife is too. So we're definitely gonna go check it out, take the boys. Be a good fun thing, you know, watch the animated one, then watch the new one. So we'll definitely check that out. Uh, okay, moving on to the video guns video game side of the house uh, English please uh, I've been playing the uh, well, I played and I think it ends today the division 2 uh, beta now I only got to play maybe seven hours of it not not a whole lot pretty good chunk it's really fun um, I'm looking forward it really makes me look forward to the whole game dropping the 15th and rumor is is that they're gonna be having an open beta later on this month maybe I think it's the end of this month that's the rumor um, for our open beta to play some more but this closed beta is huge I mean there was a lot going on the controls still improved from the first one the sponginess of the bad guys has been improved a lot uh, the AI is a little bit better and it just it just all around it's, it's an upgrade you know it's graphically superior I mean there are some glitches that still is in beta mode so you know it still looks better than the first one and I think that the polished product is going to be a whole lot better. And I can't wait for it to happen. Um, but yeah, it ends tonight. And I don't think I'm going to have time to play anymore. So we'll just have to wait for the, the next step in the beta process. Oh man, so the big news today was the releasing of information and telling us that they're going to put four new Marvel shows on Hulu. Which, pretty effing cool if you ask me. So, the four new shows are going to be Marvel's Modoc, uh, Marvel's Hitmonkey, Marvel's Tigress and Dazzler, I don't know why they're doing that, and Marvel's Howard the Duck. So, and then it's all going to culminate in one big team-up show called Marvel's Offenders. So, looks pretty fun. I mean, they've picked some pretty fun characters. Modoc, uh, that show essentially is going to be about... Modoc trying to control his personal life and his team of bad guys. Um, and it actually says in the synopsis, it was an oversized head and very small legs and arms. So it's gonna play, it's gonna poke fun at itself and it's gonna be written by Patton Oswalt. And if you know who Patton Oswalt is, and if you're a geek, you know who Patton Oswalt is. He's gonna be writing it. And so I really think I'm already sold on it. It sounds amazing and it's gonna be fun. Uh, Hit Monkey is actually the one that I'm really looking forward to because it has to do with a monkey that lives in Japan and swings a sword and takes out the Japanese Mafia. That sounds like a whole lot of fun and I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. Um, now, 
Tigris and Dazzler. I don't know where they're pulling this from, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, two woke, that's actually their words, two woke females in LA trying to figure out crimes and private investigation. Written by Chelsea Handler, so it's gonna have some fun to it, but I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. And Howard the Duck is gonna be their flagship show. I really think that's what's gonna happen because Kevin Smith is actually writing Howard the Duck and Howard the Duck is trying to save the world and get back to his. That's the whole thing. Um, so, four new shows on Hulu. And I think Hulu is gonna benefit a lot from this. You know, everybody's talking about Disney Plus and how Disney Plus is gonna abandon Netflix. Well, Disney is trying to acquire Fox and Fox is a is a big holder in Hulu. So, you know, Disney's standing to profit like three times over. So. Get your money, big mean baddies. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that, it's gonna be funny. Now, I wanna try to start a new thing every video. I wanna have a comic recommendation. And this week's comic recommendation was uh, brought up to me and I was reminded that I had the comic. It's actually called Prodigy from Image Comics. It's written by Mark Millar. Now, it's about a genius, super genius level guy who can pretty much do anything he wants to do. And he's like a private investigator, James Bond type of person, trillionaire. Really fun read, really well written, and I highly recommend it. So that's my comment recommendation for now. It's got three issues in, so you can definitely, it's definitely a good, you know, three issue run. Check it out. So until next time, it's Cosmic Lou. I'm out.